Hi everybody. In uh, this video, I'm going to pick up where I left off on the uh, barrel. I was showing you how I threaded it to half inch 28, and now I'm going to drill it, ream it, and cut it off. I've, I've done this in a in another video with the stainless steel, but uh, since I'm going to make a few of these, I'll go ahead and uh, video each operation that I do on these things. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and center drill it. Center drilled and I'm going to drill it up to, well I'm going to use an R drill which is 0.333 What I like to do is get it right up to the edge of the part, the major diameter of the drill bit. Bump it up here. And that's pretty close. You could probably be, you know, plus or minus ten thousandths or whatever on it. Now it looks like it needs to go up more. I can see better in the camera than I can looking at it. Right there is where I want it. Alright, now we want to go in an inch two hundred thousandths. So on this lathe, this is a Grizzly four thousand and two lay that's a 12 by 24 lathe so my tail stock one full turn on the handle goes in a tenth of an inch now I've got another little grizzly lathe it's a little smaller it's a uh, 11 by 26 and one turn of the handle is 60,000 so you would have to go in 20 times to go in an inch and two tenths. On this, I only have, I'll go in 12 turns. One of the nice things about this material is it doesn't take long to drill it out where with the stainless steel it takes a lot longer to drill that out so this material even though you know even though it's plastic I still have to do the same amount of machine operations in order to make it it just goes maybe 20 25% faster because the material's softer and easier to work with. All right, now I'm going to ream it to 0.349. I got a 0.349 reamer here. And I'm going to do the same thing I just did with the drill. Let's get it up here. Look in the camera because that seems to help. There it is, right at the edge. Lock down my tail stock, and I'm going to do 12 turns. up to size. And what I do, next I'll pull it out and cut it off. So let's zoom this out a little bit here. I'm going to put in my parting tool, which is also a groove tool. 
And there's a couple ways you can do it. You can indicate it, but I like to get it up as close to the chuck as I can without running into the chuck. And I'll take, take a scale. Take a scale. I'm gonna unlock my Okay, and I'm going to pull this out, get it set here, up against the cutoff tool, and I can pull this out, it's a little over, whoops, to a little over, it's hard to see from here, okay, a little over, two inches. Lock it down and let's part it. And there you have it. And that, that's all I'm going to do in this video. So stay tuned for the next. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Later.